what is going on everybody my name is pete and you guys are watching pay to drive and pay to drive vlogs coming at you once again with another brand new video i hope you're all doing fantastic out there so ladies and gentlemen if you drive for apps like grubhub doordash uber eats or any of the others you're in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy so get started right now for free hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. Just let YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And let's jump into the email. Triple Lindy, Thornton Mellon style. Here we go. Everybody comment Triple Lindy down below. So uh, this comes from Hemp Hemp Parade. And he says, completion rate bug or another way to get rid of dashers. Hey, Pete, Hemp Hemp Parade again. I noticed something fishy going on with DoorDash. So I check my ratings almost every day before dashing. I had a good two days of dashing for once this week. Before that, I was having to unassign a lot of orders for restaurant issues or getting better offers in my, on my other apps. But having a good two days of deliveries on DoorDash, on DoorTrash, I noticed my completion rate has not moved only unassigned one delivery in a few days and taken a bunch of deliveries, but my completion rate hasn't moved. Just wanted to know if any other dashers are having this happen to them. I think it's another way to get rid of us. Thanks Pete for all you do for us, no problem. And a shameless plug if you wanna mention the Loco app, it's getting busier and we're stealing a bunch of restaurants from the top three delivery apps. We're soon to be expanding it to more areas. Hemp Hemp Parade out. And that was Loco Tampa Bay. Yeah, what was it? Yeah, LocoTampaBay.com if you want to check that out. L-O-C-O TampaBay.com. So what do we think here as far as these, you know, completion rates not moving or whatever? Um, it seems like it's got to be some sort of a glitch, okay? Because let's face it, DoorDash out of the big three is always the one that seems to be having the issues with glitches, okay? We've been seeing this crap going on with the high mileage thing where it's like, hey, for $14, do you wanna drive 773 miles? No, but it's actually seven miles and 73, or it's actually 7.73 miles or something like that, you know? Um, so I think it's very possible it could be a glitch, you know? And again, as far as what he's saying about, is this, is this another way to get rid of dashers? I would hope not, but like I've said in the past, I, I'm pretty sure the way DoorDash does things is they do not want veteran drivers to stay on their platform because the veteran drivers are well aware of cherry picking. They're well aware of multi-apping, just like M. Pampere was saying here. Uh, and they're, they, they, they know that drivers are going to take advantage of that to, you know, to their own advantage. Um, where it puts DoorDash at a disadvantage, you know what I mean? So I almost feel like any excuse that they potentially could have to get a Dasher deactivated or force them off the platform, I feel like they're gonna take it because they want those brand new fresh drivers that don't know that they can reject those two and $3 orders, you know? So again, that's just my two cents on the thing. I'm sure some people are gonna be like, Pete, DoorDash would never do that. And it's just like, I don't know, man. They've been through some real screwy Louie tactics over the past four years, five years at this point. So I don't put anything past them at this point, you know, is really what it is. Um, you know, we, we should know at this point that they do not have the Dasher's best interest in mind because they're a gigantic company. And at the end of the day, their bottom line is what's most important. And that's like that with any business. You can't fully, you know, blame them for thinking that way, even if it, even if it doesn't make it right, you know? So with that being said, do you guys think that this completion rate thing is a glitch or do you think it's not? Let me know your thoughts down below, all right? And if you guys ever have anything you want to send to me, a, uh, a topic, a story, uh, a question, a comment, anything, feel free to message me by email, paid to drive stories at gmail.com is the best way to reach me. Or for a quicker response, you guys can message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. And anyone who signs up as a patron, as my way of saying thank you, I will give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. 
So I'm gonna do that right now. When you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got the very generous Samantha Michaels, John Birchfield, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, J Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilan, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Best, Ginny Thomas, Candace Mitchell, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to every single one of you guys out there. Really, really appreciate it. If you guys want to sign up, links are in the description or the pin top comment. You guys already know the deal. And of course, I hope every single one of you uh, are signed up on the Get Upside Gas app. It's a free app for your smartphone, and you can find that link in the description down below. All you do is scroll down this page, click Show More, and click where it says Get the Free Gas app. And from there, what you got to do is uh, you download it to whatever kind of phone or device you have. And then from that point, what you do is, uh, what do you call it? You go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt. Take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it today. And of course, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, visit paidtodrivestore.com. Links in the description down below or the pin top comment. What oh, was that a Ferrari? No, it's not. Uh, paid to drive store.com for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies. We've got lots of brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day. That's the site for you, paid to drive store.com. And, uh, if you made it to the end of this video, leave a comment saying end 333, E N D 333. Just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications. So you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, don't forget to hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And until next time, everybody, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. That's right, everybody. I really want to just say that I appreciate every single one of you who tunes into the channel, who subscribes, who sends me the emails, paid to drive stories at gmail.com. And of course, our patrons, like I said before, uh, couldn't be where I'm at without all of you. So stay safe, stay healthy. And as always, like I said, we'll see you on the next one. Peace, everybody. Later.